only way to break it is if we get down on our knees or if we call on the name of Jesus. We break the separation and we bring the presence of God into our lives. If you say the name Jesus, I guarantee you're going to get goosebumps. I guarantee you're going to feel something. You'll feel, when we pray and seek his presence, we break a law that, that the old law is saying is impossible. We are breaking a law that humanity is not supposed to be able to break. We are like her when she is getting into the crowd, when she was seeking change, even though she knew that everyone in the society she lived in fought against it. The second was touching Jesus. I'm reminded of the, uh, there was Saul and King David when there are two different reigns in Israel. See, what's interesting about Saul was when Saul was in power, Saul had no interest about getting the Ark of the Covenant because the Ark of the Covenant had been lost. He didn't even inquire about it. He just kept going on, you know, having his old good time. He never inquired about where's the Ark, where's the Ark at? I want to find it. And then David comes into power. The first thing he asks where is, where's the ark? Because he understood something. See, Saul had the presence of God, but he didn't have the power. David knew that, he, they had the, that Israel had the presence of God over them, but they, did have, they had no power without the ark in their presence. We cannot, we can have, we can come to the presence of God, we can feel God's presence. But until we seek after the power of God, right, man. Right. we are nothing. We are just like anybody else. Right. That woman could have gotten in the presence of Jesus and never reached out and touched him. That's right. But it was when she reached out and touched his garment. It was when the change happened. Right. 